There is another ride sharing app coming to go after Uber and Lyft. What are they like and will they succeed? Who knows, but let's discuss it anyways. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Apptrepreneur, and I know we just talked about Fleek, a new rideshare app that pl- promised to revolutionize the rideshare industry. On the Fleek app, or at least not the app, the CEO I should say, he discussed how driver's pay was the biggest concern, which is obviously something we want to hear, but everyone's saying the same thing, you know, the ride, the drivers aren't getting paid much, the, therefore the customer service sucks. But here's the thing. I think what most of us would want to know is what are these new companies' plans to get people away from Uber and Lyft? And what are their launch plans? When are they going to be out? And is there enough room for more than a couple? I I personally think there is, uh, especially since some people have been suspended from Uber and Lyft. Not, Not many, but a few. And there's another person joining in the, another company, I should say, joining the fight. And... It is called WIM. WIM covers all your journeys. Public transport, taxi, car, bike share. So they're jumping like all over the gambit right from the get-go. So according to this article, um, Finnish company Mass Global announced that its mobility app WIM will debut, debut in the U.S. later this year, reported TechCrunch. WIM will launch its launch in one of the following five cities, Austin, Boston, Chicago, Dallas, or Miami, in addition to the U.S., Mass Global also plans to want, launch WIM in Singapore. The app is currently available in Antwerp, the UK, Helsinki, and Vienna. WIM features subscription options for public transportation, ride sharing, bike rentals, scooter rentals, taxi hailing, and car rentals. So already I can tell you right from the get go why this might actually pick up. And it's not because of the ride share element, although that is a feature there. Be- the fact that you can actually Um, get taxi hailing and car rentals through this app, that is a huge thing because at one point they could say, hey, you want to call a car? Use WIM. You want to rent a car? You can use WIM. You want a taxi? You can use WIM. You want to use public transportation? You can use WIM. This is a bigger selling point than some people might realize. So right off the bat, I have to say that. You can pick a pay-as-you-go option if you want to try it out and only occasionally travel. However, the higher tier option with unlimited access to the aforementioned services costs 500 euros per month. I don't know exactly what that is, how much that is. I'm sorry. Uh, the high tier, you know, I, let's, uh, <laughs> this is, uh, I, I know we're going to do this lo- live. Um, <laughs> let's see here. How much is 500 euros in U.S. dollars? Um, okay, about almost $600. So, all right, there we go. Sorry we had to do that live. Um, I don't want to, you know, I like to admit when I don't know something. So, that that's expensive. That's pretty expensive. The high tiers price is nothing to sneeze at, but Moss Global CEO Samton Hienta takes a different perspective on things. Hiatanin claims that cars take 70% of the market, yet are used only 4% of the time. With WIM, you're paying the optional capacity, uh, the CEO says. Ideally, that should lead to reduced transportation costs and emissions. And it should also be noted that if you travel a lot, like, okay, here's where we're going to go back to this real quick. Um, You want to go back and you want like a taxi or you want car rentals. If you pay 500 you Euros, yeah, you do get a lot of rides to the airport through ride sharing, but you go someplace, you need a car for the week, you use WIM to rent the car. Maybe you get like a huge discount on that re- rental. So if some, and this could be a business expense. So already I can see where this would be a huge competitor in the gig economy um, market. So let's see here. Uh, with an all With such an all-encompassing service, Mass Global has a real chance to take on the likes of Uber and Lyft. It also has a real chance to upset those who argue that ride-sharing services only add to road congestion. Very interesting way to end it. But yeah, there you go. So who knows if this is going to be a thing? I mean, I've talked about many ride-sharing apps that have never actually taken off. Uh, Pull Up and Go was one that I think fell came and went, um, tried, tried to get off the ground and didn't quite do it. I think Trip 
even though I have that referral code below, I'm aware of that. I'm very suspicious that they are going to be a thing. And we just talked about Fleek. And I liked what the CEO said about Fleek, but the bottom line is unless the product is cheaper, no one's going to use it over Uber and Lyft. Uber and Lyft are established. Very few of these companies have actually explained how they can get people away from Uber and Lyft. But I think Wim is the first one that actually shows why. Again, public transportation, taxi, car, bike share. And the fact that you could like book your car rentals and everything, it kind of becomes like Expedia that way. So Wim might actually make a dent. You never know. Now, of course, while they're building this up, Uber and Lyft can look at this and say, yeah, those are good features. We're going to do it. And they could eat their lunch. That's the, the other problem with having such big brands who obviously don't want to give up their territory. They will look at what the competition is doing, take the features they like that they can still reasonably make money from, and they will put them in their own app. So who, kn who knows? But yeah, I kind of like the idea of whim. Uh, and hey, look, there's like a little app thing. So anyway, that's whim. What do you folks think? Do you think this is going to be a big thing? Or is it just another rideshare app that may or may not get off the ground? I would love to know your opinion as always. So you know the drill. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even this $1 a month goes a long way to helping the channel run smoothly. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.